All right, so an update. We are about two days away from the final deadline and we just finished all the graphics. So here are all the graphics. It's so fun. The intro graphic or the front book cover, chapter one, levels of perception, the tree and the human and the analogy. Chapter two, seed theory and the trajectory mechanics. Chapter three, the edge and the sponge theory, and then chapter four, portals and code update. Chapter five, inclusive stakeholding. Man, these took me so long to get right. The symbiosis between fungi and trees. It took me so long to research to make sure that was all right. It's so important for inclusive stakeholding, especially since the next graph is the total job space. <sighs> and then the AI coach graphic turned out great. And then the follow up to that graphic is visualizing consciousness evolution. And this is where we talk about the hierarchies. And then we make a little remark there about richest person how enlightened is the richest person yeah sorting algorithm magic trick still looking good switch this out for some cells instead of instead of uh o2 and co2 so now it's co2 and cells that was its own thing is that i i had to change the color here because when you if you have co2 and then you have o2 this i used to have light blue so i had to go and change all of them to that purple because that's the same oxygen that's it can't be a different color on co2 and o2 it had to be the same color um and then, yeah, consciousness, the calculus of consciousness, the integral and derivative. And then the dress, such an important metaphysical enlightening event that we breezed past. And then nine, another last bit on identity and porosity. And this is kind of like the fin chapter 10 on infinity. This is recursion my little metaphysics and then this is craziness this is the infinite symphony and the designer worlds yeah so you got the you know we're, we're grabbing maths towns videos for me to i love you guys maths town they do such a good job on the mandelbrot fractal zoom but uh for the chapter videos which i still have to do all those little three minute chapter videos after I finish writing in all the like quotes and short words, so few words I'm gonna use. But yeah, so from that source point right there, it refracts into the light spectrum and all those little visible light spectrum and all those little pixels are little um, uh, universes that bubble off. And then here are some examples of universes. You know, this one's ours, ours has this yin yang uh flux ascension style dynamic james maxwell and the uh electromagnetic equations and then uh, everything's in the knot of life and then we have this um, strange attractor that all eight billion of us are playing in a symphony towards and then that's at the godhead but in order to get to the godhead and go under the recursive function we have to get through all the fermi filters asteroids bombs planetary health, unlocking the code of life, and artificial intelligence and robotics. So, yeah, so this was a lot of fun. Um, let's show you, of course, got to show you the closing graphic, too. Boom. And that's the back cover. Goroboros.
yeah, so the project was a ridiculous amount of fun. And I love all of the brilliant people that I got to read and learn from and study along the way and distill the most brilliant things. It's just been such a, a beautifully intuitive and just grounding creative process that so few people get to go and embark on uh, and I was blessed enough to be able to do so and it's only the beginning because we have massive further the Pixar and Disneyfication of all of this profundity with chimps and with the anthology which tentatively is called superhuman which is dope and with all of these badass influencer interviews where they're going to be asked questions about the nature of reality it's going to be so great so yeah it's just interesting that you know the forcing function is really interesting because if I if I show you here, um, like one of my last uh, distillations. So these are all these are all little uh, Evernotes. Um, they're like little Evernote windows, basically, and that I have open separately. And so a couple of them are the most recent distillations. One of them is my influences list. One of them is like the absolute top top things that i need to do absolutely right now for the project but uh let me show you i'll show you hlp distillation number 17 and then um so that way you can kind of see like yeah synthesizing and distilling the most profound things i've learned in my life into art you know, so I have this little breakdown, right? I love this Gates quote about building the upstream framework and then slotting the knowledge and information. And it's basically what I've been doing this whole time. Understand the deepest patterns, communicate the me, life, life to the world. So I'm not going to include, so this is chapter one, levels of perception. Show. Every single one of these is broken down to chapter one and then blah. Chapter two and then blah. Chapter three is here, the edge, and then blah, right? And so right now, I'm totally not going to be using all of it. Um, but, uh, but I will probably be using like these top quotes, like trees are poems that the earth writes upon the sky. Khalil Gibran, all our wisdom is stored in the trees, Santosh Kalawar, right? So, and then that second graphic with the humans is the human HLP Sonder, the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own by John Koenig. And I actually learned that that Sonder quote like six years ago or something like right so closer to the beginning of the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows and him publishing all these profound neologisms but I'm not going to be using um all of this stuff um it's just too much stuff I love Helen Keller's quote here life is either daring adventure or nothing at all Nikola Tesla's the energy of a single thought may determine the motion of a universe anyway so I have to really, really be selective because I don't want to have that many words in the project. But you know what's funny? You like look at this and you're like, you know, like th this is this is all of the stuff you're trying to condense. Like, look, look, look. This is an eight, chapter nine, David Bohm's quote, consciousness is never static or complete, but it is an unending process of movement and unfoldment. And you know what's so interesting is that like even here you get to infinity right the last chapter and like then you're like wow good he made it all the way and then you go and you're like wait that was just hlp distillation 17 and it's like yeah this is hlp distillation 16. i love that good they quote the perfect educational lecture belongs in the artist's sphere of work so, but then it's funny because you come here and you're like, this is all completely different information for seed theory, for the edge, for portals, for inclusive stakeholding, for AI coach. <laughs> and there's, there's, 
this is number 16. So there's, there's, there's 17 distillations like this. And specifically HLP distillation number two is the one that I poured a lot of the last couple months into like organizing and sorting. That one's really has a lot of stuff in it. But then I have all of these, you know, all that, all the Evernote files, I have 4,000 Evernote files. And so I distilled the most profound things into another uh, HLP distillation on Google Drive. And I have 40 of those files, but those aren't as salient because those are everywhere from like four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. So those aren't as salient as like, for example, HLP distillation, like, you know, 16 here, you can see it has the integral and the derivative of consciousness. Well, I only uh, intuited that um, not that long ago, maybe like a couple months ago or something like that. And um, Isaac Newton's a huge part of this project with the refraction of light into the visible light spectrum. Also, um, the classical mechanics foundation they set with the laws of motion because that's all about trajectory mechanics and seed theory and then obviously the calculus with Leibniz um so it's crazy that you know I got pretty much like 48 hours left and there's basically the images are done and then the words I have yet to fit in to the the project and then I have yet to make the three minute video for each chapter and then I've yet to make the 25 minute total book video or however long it'll be and there's 48 hours left so I got a lot of work to do but um, there's nothing, there's nothing in this world, there's nothing in this world quite like locking yourself in a burning building and being genius enough to figure out the puzzle to get yourself out. There's nothing as profound and important as that. So you gotta shut, you gotta set a shot clock. You got to work your ass off up until that shot clock. But then the whole Tim Urban <laughs> TED Talk with the forcing function that procrastination gives to actually execute is uh, super interesting and important. It's like super powerful and really um, uninvestigated so far. But this is going to be massive. And I'm so grateful and pumped. So I love you very much. Thanks for sort of watching this breakdown because I knew that it was going to be important for me to make this documentation just, you know, two days out so that I, you know, I have something recalling this process. And so I can share it with people. I'm going to make videos breaking it down as well when I get to LA. But yeah, I just moved the, the rental car information into my google drive folder so that i could more easily access it but yeah i've been pulling these down off of the wall slowly all those little sheets that i organized up and then i've been pulling them down over here and slowly synthesizing <laughs> into these so crazy bro so crazy um that's it that's it hella grateful um super grateful for my mom and the foundation that she's instilled so that I could take the baton pass and go off and do this and my grandma and uncle and everything that they did and all my teachers and influences in my life leading up till this point just so profound Esengoenka and Gautama Buddha and Theravada Buddhism and you know Advaita Vedanta and Sri Aurobindo and Rupert Spira and Bernardo Castro upon ontology and and metaphysical idealism and like everyone from you know Vivian Ming five years ago maximize human potential neuroscience and AI 
Oh, you know, to Bethancourt, right? Bethancourt in the, you know, biotechnology. Like, Ron Vogus helping me for 18 months, you know, power through, you know, 600 plus interviews in just those two years. And then Ori Shapira for bringing me into a... the depths of silence and consciousness and cellular immobility experientially. And then Alexa, my ex-girlfriend who of three years who helped also with um, example. I mean, she's the one that she's the one that helped with the forcing function of getting me to learn sketch. I saw her doing it obviously. And then other people like, you know, Tarangala and Kayla Sharp. Thank you for refusing to edit all of the simulation videos and making me, pushing me to learn how to use Premiere to edit video. Because I'm the one that edited all of our interviews that weren't live streamed, which was a fuckload that I did on the road. Um... You know, some of the other, you know, best friends growing up, Max Chadliev and Greg Harner, Nick Fixel, Chandler Cost, Dan Rzitzky, all the homies here, but also um, the homies that I met in Minneapolis and I'm still really good friends with, like Nick Hamas over in the Bay Area, massively influential on my life and thinking, first robotics especially, and then, you know, in the Bay Area with Jackson Blazinski all things applied crypto so so beautiful and you know jordan rain for really reeling me into that theravada buddhism and um and yeah tarangala with his just incredible artistic eye and just so much else like andrew karsh and his push for rich patrons to actually, you know, make a big splash on the world because he's already doing it with the SDGs, trying to unlock those trillions of dollars. And, you know, Wayne Osborne's been very motivational in that sense as well. June Yoon with inclusive stakeholding, such a crucial thing. I would have never figured out about mycorrhizal networks, fungal root networks, if it wasn't for learning about inclusive stakeholding. And then Eric Weinstein in the portal. So profound and important. I mean, all of the ancient spiritual traditions, reading the Old and New Testament, Jordan Peterson for his biblical lectures, and just understanding those stories and the profundity of just being the highest possible caliber of morality. Confucius wrote about it a lot, I've been studying him, Lao Tzu, a lot as well. I mean, I'll show you a little bit of the influences list, but um, this is the influences list. This is where it's at right now, but I've been moving things around so much. It's crazy. Yeah, so... Christ, Buddha, Goenka, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Michelangelo, Sri Aurobindo, the Mother Alfasa, Tom Campbell, with this theory of everything, Jun Yoon, inclusive stakeholding, Suzanne Simard, I put up at so high up because I fucking love her, man. She's the one that did the radioactive carbon isotope tracing for uncovering how trees communicate via those mycorrhizal networks on uh, a two way resource exchange. John Smart, Transcension Hypothesis, Claire Graves, Don Beck, Chris Collins, Spiral Dynamics, Ken Wilbur, all quadrant, all levels, Pierre Thielhard, Deschardin, John Gebser, Jordan Peterson, Walter Michel, The Marshmallow Experiment, Danny Kahneman, Amos Tversky, Eric Weinstein, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Carl Sagan on the science communication front, Tony Robbins on inspiring people to peak performance, Joe Rogan for all that he's done for our world and bringing that knowledge out, Douglas Hofstetter, he's profoundly, Donald Hoffman, these two guys are profoundly impacted me conscious agent theory charles darwin george hegel of course and dialectics mc escher one of the most profound artists has ever lived 
uh, David Goggins, get past that 40%. Rojo Heraclitus, Parmenides, Irvin Laszlo, Rupert Spiro, Ra, Bentinho Massaro. He's done such a good job communicating spirituality. Carl Jung, Sigmund Freud, Carl Rogers, Alfred Adler, Victor Franco, Emmanuel Kant, David Bohm, John Wheeler, Alan Turing, John von Neumann, a universal constructor. And then this is where we get into physics. Oh my God. Eric Weinstein's quote about physics. Kurt uh, Jamingo uh, asked him on his Theories of Everything show, like, when did you escape uh, consensus reality? And when did you, like, really start? taking a theory of everything seriously and you know that's what he said that when i started taking physics seriously so oh my gosh i'm only at the beginning isaac newton michael faraday james maxwell albert einstein nikola tesla paul dirac nicholas copernicus thomas stars with burden of genius hugh everett bryce dewitt erwin schrodinger werner heisenberg bernard riemann blaise pascal godfried Leibniz. Clee Irwin, Sidney Brenner, Ben Gertzel, Paul Stamets, John Conway, Eliezer Yudkowsky, I.J. Good. Oh, this that was crazy. Yay, Kurzweil, Mama Nguyen. I'm so happy I know somebody super indigenous like Mama. And Joseph Campbell, Jean Piaget. So many people, Wolfram Langdon. I mean, there's so many people. All right. This is a little taste, so. Because I don't even think I have version control. It'd be interesting if I had version control on the influences list. But this shit's long. There's probably approaching a thousand people in this list. All hella uncommon people that I've studied. Anyway, all right. Love you very much. Thank you. Hope high level perception impacts you positively. And also that everything else um, that we do impacts you positively brings you great value and that you achieve all of your goals and you investigate consciousness and understand the nature of reality. Love you very much. Contemplate infinity. Peace.